My name is Corine van Dun. I am living in Holland, in the Netherlands. Uh, I am the chair of Transgender Network Netherlands, TNN, as we call it. And, uh, well, I am advocating for transgender people here in this country and for the rest in Europe. Transgender Netherlands is a uh, advocacy organization. We discuss, discuss with um, politicians, uh, local politicians, regional politicians, but especially the politicians in, uh, in the national parliaments. Uh, and we discuss also a lot with um, civil servants working for the national government. Besides that, we organize all kinds of things that we can um, outreach to other people, that we uh, can show the world that we exist and that we are just ordinary people. The situation has improved uh, since uh, last year, 2014. In July 2014, we got a new legislation, a new law, special for transgender people. Uh, there was an old law that made it possible to have gender change in your passport, in your birth certificate, but that required, a surgic, um, that required surgical treatment, medical treatment, and uh, it is skipped in this new law. Uh, the new law only asks uh, from a transgender person that you are uh, convinced of your own um, new gender. If you can explain that to a doctor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist, then you get a declaration and with that declaration you can go to your uh, local government and then they will change your uh, birth certificate and all the papers that belong to that. So your driver's license, uh, also, the diplomas you have uh, uh, got at school or university or whatever you like, uh, everything will be changed with your new names and your new gender. And uh, we're very glad with that. That new law will be evaluated uh, in 2017. And because we have a small problem, well, not a small problem, we have a big problem with that law. It is a good law, but it requires that you have the age of uh, 16. And we don't think it is um, good for youngsters, for young people, that they cannot change their uh, uh, gender identity. I'm very glad to say that uh, we achieved quite a lot. TNN, Transgender Network Netherlands, exists for only six years, officially. And within this short period, we, read, we have achieved so much. So many people, so many transgender people were on national television in broadcasts, uh, even from me, um, my... Uh, change uh, has been on a movie, on a film, it was shown on television even uh, 20 years ago already, I'm old, and um, so we achieved a lot by just uh, showing us uh, on television, on radio, in newspapers, magazines, all kinds of things, and I don't think there is anyone in Holland, in the Netherlands, who has never heard of transgender people. That is very important. People are accepting us. It is still not quite perfect. There is a lot of discrimination. For instance, when you work uh, or you study somewhere, then you, you can have lots of troubles. But so many people already know of, from the existence of transgender people that it slowly becomes easier and discrimination is slowing down. But many, well, many um, people from other countries that uh, live na here in, uh, in the Netherlands, they still have problems with, uh, 
with uh, transgender people, but Muslims do accept transgender people. Uh, it is the biggest problem for Muslim people is that they do not accept uh, gay people. And so many uh, transgender people are also gay people. That's a big problem. I am a transgender person myself. You can hear it uh, to my voice. Uh, I have a low voice. I can, well, I can try and change it a little. And perhaps you can discover now that I, I've learned to talk as a woman, but I have always felt that I am a woman. But I was born in a male body. Until the age of 36, uh, I was still a man. Uh, with a woman. I have two children. I still see them. They're great. They're great children. They're 32, my son, and 30 is my daughter. I am a transgender person. I am the woman, finally, at the age of 38. Uh, the woman I, I was always, I always was. And that motivates me so much that I am so happy to be the person I always was, and the body finally got that I always wanted to have, although it is getting old and I get wrinkles and things like that. But that's, yeah, that's, that's getting old, that's being a normal person. And I am still am a transgender person. And I have a good job, I'm a journalist, I have a good income, and I work hard to, to help others in my country to help with their coming out as a transgender person, but also to reach out to all the other people to tell them, do not discriminate, do not discriminate transgender people, do not discriminate gay people. They're just ordinary people, just like you. That's what motivates me. I I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I was a war correspondent, a reporter, so I've seen uh, lots of terrible things in life. And when I, I'm uh, working here as an activist, I am just the one who I am, and <laughs> I'm not just not scared. But when you are in transition, then life is very different. Uh, I've experienced that when you, for instance, uh, were a girl and you become a man, you, get, you grow a beard or your voice is coming low. People who do not accept that from you because they know you in a different way and that might cause troubles, and especially for uh, the other way around, for biological men become uh, a trans woman. It is very difficult very often. I experienced that myself when I was once in a bus and then people started to look at me and well, yeah, I did also look as a man, but I was wearing women clothes and then people start to stare at you. They were making uh, marks to me and I didn't like that and I left the bus as soon as I, I could. And I sometimes had that kind of experiences. And for me, it, it was quite easy. I'm not, a, a, not an afraid person. But many other people who are in transition in that period of five years, three to five years, so many people, especially elderly people, uh, they, they, they have trouble. The ideal situation in my country will be that everyone can be whoever you like to be like to be a woman, like to be a man, or perhaps you like to be somewhere in between. So many people feel somewhere in between, not a man, not a woman, not living or born as a man, I want to live as a woman. There is so much in between. I hope that everybody can live the way you like to live, that you can wear the clothes that you like to wear no matter what sex you have, just wear whatever you like. When you are a man and you're even convinced that you'll ever be a man and you're very happy with that, you can also wear women clothes or the other way around. There are so many, so many things between men and women. 
let everybody be who you want to be. That would be the best future we can have. Thank you.